So how do you run um, a chi-square test in your calculator? So this is for whenever you're doing independence or, or homogeneity. We aren't going to do uh, any homogeneity test, but it's the same test. So that's it's just your interpretation. Um, so we've got these, this uh, data that's got two categories on two, two categories for the columns and two categories for the rows. So it's a two-way table. And the way you run, get the chi-square test statistic for this, um, you, on your calculator, you're going to do second x to the negative 1. You see that button there and how it has the blue matrix above it? Then we want to edit our matrix. So I want to get the edit highlighted so that you can either hit the right arrow twice or if you're here at this screen, you can hit the left arrow once to jump there. If you want to edit, edit matrix A, and this is a two rows and two columns. And you type your numbers in 24, let's see, 24, uh, 42, 26, and 41. And make sure you get them typed in correctly. It's the number one error I make. So now I'm going to quit. So second, quit. And now you're going to do stat. Test. Remember, we either hit the right arrow twice or the left arrow once to get over there. Then chi square is the bottom of the list, so I can click the up arrow to get way down to the bottom. And you see, there's the goodness of fit test when you have a one-way table, you know, just one category and uh, or uh, one one variable and a bunch of categories. And then we're looking for a chi square test, so choice C. And it's looking, it's asking you. When do you put, where did you put your um, your data? Well, we put the what we saw, we observed in matrix A. It'll calculate matrix, the expected for us, so we don't have to do that. And you come down and calculate it, and lo and behold, there's chi-square. There's the p-value. It's huge, of course. And there, and asking us this. So there's your chi-square number that you can go there. Okay. Otherwise, to do this by hand, you have to subtract each of these values. Um, square them, square the difference, divide by this expected number, and do that for all four pairs of numbers, find the sum of those. Um, one thing I wanted to show you before I stop this video is this observed, uh, these expected values. Remember how we had it, the calculator dump it into matrix B? If I access the matrix list for matrix B, notice I'm not editing it this time. I just I want to know what's in matrix B. So I'm just going to select it and enter it, and then I'm getting some values. And there's the 24.81 that you calculated and the 25.81. Now, one thing you can do when you calculate it is so you can see all the decimal places. Well, you can scroll over and, and do it that way. You can also do mode and fix the number of decimal places to, I don't know, what is my open math looking for, two or three? I'm going to fix it at twos, and that's what I'm seeing on that table and quit, and I'm just going to do second answer again just so I don't have to re-access all those, and there's our two decimal places, and you can see everything. So chi-square with the calculator is very easy. You just got to input the, the original table. Uh, it won't give you all the information that you need for the mouth math, but it'll give you most of it. So I hope that helps you uh, do this, this with technology.